This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what's really good, my dudes? Today is November 14th, 2016, and we got a new RuneScape update for y'all. After several months of delays, we finally see the release of the Bounty Hunter minigame. So this is a re-release or rework of an old minigame of the same name. So if you're familiar with that, the core game mechanics are still the same. Just to give you a brief rundown, it's an unsafe minigame in the wilderness, so bring what you're willing to lose. The objective of the minigame is to kill your assigned target. You can choose to go rogue though and kill anyone. Bounty kills are ones where you kill your assignment target and rogue kills are where you kill ones who aren't. Killing players gives you the chance to receive or upgrade an already owned emblem. These emblems can be traded in for bounty points and spent to earn tradable high level rewards. Bounty Hunter is only hosted on two game worlds, World 33 and 135, the first which is strictly legacy mode while the other allows EOC combat. In these worlds, you only have access to the wilderness and the few surrounding areas like Edgeville and the Grand Exchange. Instead of making new servers, they've converted old servers to the Bounty Hunter ones which were previously PvP designated worlds. So as I've said, this is a reintroduction of an old minigame but there are several tweaks this time around, it's got a very sophisticated ELO based matchmaking system that should always pair you with people of similar skill level to avoid novice PKers from being easily stomped out by veterans. I don't fully understand the way it all works, but links in the description below will explain how the entire thing functions, so check those out if you want more detail. It also talks about the new emblems I briefly mentioned that will be the way of earning currency for the new bounty hunter rewards. There's a whole bunch of new rewards you can get from this mini game. You can see a list of them here on screen now. Since there's so much, you can pause the video and read them off if you want. But again, it will be in the link description below, so go check it out and have a look. But yeah guys, this is supposed to be another attempt on Jigus's part to breathe life into PvP. Unfortunately, Deathmatch didn't go over too well, especially because of clans and raids armor being so prevalent. Hopefully this will be successful and people who have been waiting on this update will get what they have wanted. Also with today's update, we've seen the first two skilling elite outfits, mining and runecrafting, available through skilling. I've already made a video going into great detail about how you can obtain these outfits and what the requirements are, so if you want to know more, I'll have a link to that video below as well. Lots of people are happy to hear Jagex listening to the community and adding these overpowered treasure hunter items to the actual playable game. I know I'm hyped to go get mine, so yeah, check out that other video if you want to know more. And to finish off, let's move on to this week's patch notes. Not a lot going on here, but we'll just quickly go through it, so here we go. Players can now check their progress in the empty throne room with Celia Diggory. Players can no longer remote bank all energy types, including cursed such as via imp boxes or legendary pets. Some messages that incorrectly referenced the Crucible rather than Deathmatch have been fixed, and the Make X system now works correctly with the Rune Pouch. Next, they've corrected an issue where the player had fully repaired the Lady Lumbridge during Dragon Slayer, but Ned didn't believe it was fully repaired enough. The Walk Like a Zombie override is no longer disabled after an hour. Lava Strike Wounds will no longer reduce damage when taken for the first 10 seconds, speeding up those kills. Remaining stackable items from a Gravestone will now add to other existing stacks in the backpack. And finally, here are some hot fixes that we had throughout the week last week. You could pause if you want to see them all and read them for yourself. Anyways, that's it for this week's game update and patch notes. Both of those links will be in the description below so you can check it out all by yourself, dog. Anyways, like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed me and you're not subscribed, I got RuneScape videos almost every single day. So you gotta subscribe, dog. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm out, dogs. Peace.